Lionsgate unveiled the first footage from John Wick Chapter 2 at CinemaCon yesterday and, no surprise, received a huge positive reaction. The audience hit Twitter faster than a bullet with many reps from their outlet saying how much crazy action is involved. Some of the more excited re reactions included Slash Films' Peter Serretta calling it more cinematic looking with bigger action, JoeBlow.com saying it looks every bit as badass as you hoped, and our own Steve Frosty Weintraub saying he was happy to report that John Wick had plenty of great action moments, with Rome providing a more cinematic and beautiful backdrop. Perry, buy or sell the positive reaction from the John Wick Chapter 2 footage? I buy it because there's no puppy murder. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it took me so long to sit down and watch this movie because Steve was ranting and raving about it, and he kept telling me, you have to watch this movie. John Wick's incredible. It's going to be a big thing. And finally, I sat down and watched it. And he, kept, he also kept telling me, you know, that happens early in the movie, and it drives the whole narrative, which it does but that didn't stop me from crying I want to say throughout the entire thir first act of the movie <laughs> I must have been tearing and now I'm really excited that we're kind of just focusing on him like kicking the crap out of other people and the fact that the footage looks great I mean wonderful I, I like John Wick I like the character if you go on uh, the YouTube channel on Collider.com Steve does a great interview with uh, Keanu Reeves and Keanu Reeves just seems so pumped and hyped about this movie so that kind of enthusiasm is really infectious so I, I'm buying it for sure. Mark? Yeah, when I saw the first John Wick, I didn't have a girlfriend, and she, and so I didn't meet her dog yet. So I was like, yeah, okay, <laughs> but we, the dog died. It's sad, but let's go kick some ass. This one, now it's going to be a lot more emotional if there is some sort of creature that gets murdered early in the movie. But I totally buy this. I mean, this is everything that we hoped John Wick 2 would be, that we go back, and it's bigger, it's better, it's more action, it's more violent. I love how cool Rome is going to look as the backdrop for all of these adventures that John Wick's going on. On. So, yeah, I mean, this is easy for me. Yeah, I'm going to buy it as well. I really like the first one. And obviously, Steve Frosty Weintraub, who's <laughs> the editor in chief of Collider to Come, likes it a lot. That's why he has those interviews with uh, Keanu Reeves. Uh, I don't know what the motivation is going to be. I don't think it's going to be as compelling as the, as the puppy murder revenge story, I, you know, which is kind of the basis of that spoof of Keanu um, with uh, <laughs> Key and Peel. But um, I also like the fact that they're in Rome now because the one thing about John Wick, the first one, while I loved it, they were set, it was set kind of like, well, it was like garages, warehouses, mm -hmm. a club, a dock. Like visually, those weren't exactly exciting places. It was cool for the setting, but we don't want to see that again. So this, this time, if it's in Rome and we get some nice, cool, beautiful backdrops, all the better. What sort of animal did you have to cap in order to get John Wick to go to Rome? Like, that's a that's a big... Did they steal, like, an elephant? Like, what did they do <laughs> that pisses off John Wick so much that he's got to go to Rome? I can't wait to find out. It's actually going to be a Jungle Book crossover. <laughs> <laughs> they killed Bagheera? What? Oh. It's actually no. also important to note that he kind of hinted in the interview, Keanu Reeves that is, that the Continental Hotel, the Assassin's Hotel, is going to be in this to some extent. He didn't exactly say, like flat out say, we're going to have the Assassin's Hotel, but he definitely nodded in a way that you, would make you think that it's going to be woven into the new narrative. And that was my favorite part of uh, John Wick. Yeah, you got to have some mention of the Continental in there. I want that thing to be like Holiday Ants. I want the Continentals all over mm -hmm. the world, and I want John Wick to visit as many as we can possibly get. And did he kind of hint at a third movie as well? Well, yeah. S Steve asked if he would be willing and eager to continue and he said something along the lines of obviously i didn't write down one of the most important quotes in the <laughs> thing yeah yeah i did not write that down but he said something along the lines like i love this character and we do want to you know leave the door open to explore it more without flat out saying yeah we're making john wick 3 which is probably the smart way to go about it yeah Sweet. they want to see how it does yeah of let's get john wick over to pandora and then just tie those universes <laughs> together somebody from the navi can die one of those pterodactyls that you plug your tail into then john wick has to go find revenge hey if it was under sony's banner that might happen <laughs> with the, their mib jump street that they, boy can dream yes hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.